Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Shadrakamar. It's time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. Last time, we were going on the final march of Nightmare Campaign. In this episode, we will be continuing this march um, with a bit of a different team comp. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is not going to be the easiest thing, but I'm trying to try to use a nuker. That does more damage to them. Um... Keep in mind, all of this is um, not exactly easy to pull off. Even with attacks that ignore defense. You will see... It's not as easy as it looks. Especially if the nuker is not tanky. See that that's part of the problem of pulling a non tanky nuker in here. It's hard to do any damage to these enemies. As you can see, doing damage to them is nearly impossible. And it will get harder as we go up. <sighs> Trying to do any damage to these people is, as you've seen, incredibly difficult.
Like, look how hard it is to keep her alive with that. There's a reason I put him in here, though. It's intentional. I put... I put Coffin Smasher in here to get XP. Just let me tell you. He's not going to get XP from... other places as easily finally dear lord you see how hard it is to get through this okay and I'm not I'm not okay so it's all magic affinity we'll put rosin in here Sill is kind of a shoe in because Sill does the reviving for any of my schemes. Sill helps hold the whole operation up. Is this easy to do? Not really. Because I'm basically cycling through. As you saw, getting a regular nuker to survive this is actually extremely difficult. Um, normally, the champion has to be someone with great defensive ability like Magnar as a nuker to actually wipe this out. Or like Drexthar, Magnar, that kind of deal. Rosin, something like that. Because as you climb up into the higher levels of Nightmare, you get to see some very unpleasant stuff. Like basilisks that do mad damage. All sorts of crazy shenanigans. Hopefully, we'll get to the end of Nightmare soon. Because that's what I'm praying to do, so that I can experiment with different picks versus this mode. One thing is for sure. It takes a lot to beat this. Even the beginning of Nightmare is a is scary, to be sure. It's very Doom Tower like.
going... I don't know how the hell it gives me that low of a piece on this... And this mad, mad climb. The mad climb, I'm telling you. It's the mad climb. All the way to the end. I am not doing... I'm going to try to get to the end of Nightmare Godfrey. But going to the end of um, Nightmare Period is going to take more episodes. To say the least. And I might have to do a two-part just to deal with the finale of Nightmare. Nightmare is that bad, by the way. Because everything is level 200 plus. Like, it starts at level 100 and goes up like Doom Tower does. By the end of it, it's like a two level 250 enemies. Very similar to the ending of Doom Tower Normal. Very similar. It's not Doom Tower Hard, though. Doom Tower Hard starts at 200 plus and goes to 300 plus. Like it goes all the way up to 350, which is the highest possible level in the game is level 350. This was reserved for a level for Doom Tower Hard, but then, then Plarium got the annoying idea of making dungeons like this, making level 21 and 25 dungeons. So now those exist. Um, now, am I going to beat this level 21, 25 dungeons? Not for a long time. I'm sticking to level 20 dungeons for a very long time. And some of the level 20 dungeons I can't even do, like friggin' Spider 20. I'm still working out how to do Spider 20. That I'm still working out because Spider 20 is really obnoxious. Requires a very specific team to be made with very specific gear requirements. And if your team does not meet those gear requirements, you just lose. There we go, perfect. We're going to throw rosin into the max. Got to keep on moving. But yeah, the reason that Coffin Smasher is in here is I'm trying to give him hyper levels, but at the same time, 
I'm trying to actually do something I should have done a long time ago. Try to beat Nightmare. I should have done this ages ago on this account, but I didn't. The time has finally come for me to beat Nightmare. Because I have a bunch of champs and stuff and gear. I need to just go beat Nightmare. Um, I will be probably using Paragon for the final um, jaunt, if you will. Because I probably need, at least for the final boss, because the final boss is going to take an age. And is going to do a lot of periling. You want to keep him controlled if at all possible. Because trust me. If you don't keep these things controlled, they get out of hand really fast. Now, there is some exceptions to this. There comes a point where you can't really control certain enemies and you have to just use enemies that can go invincible like Paragon. Because that's how I'm going to have to do the last... the last one. The fact they have basilisks in here does not help me. I'm saving that other ability for the next wave. I'm not repeating any of these waves for now because it's literally that expensive to deal with. Well, now we're just going to have to focus that rosin. It's going to take a while, man. At least we got him. His attack decreased, so he doesn't do as much damage. But as you can clearly see, he takes forever to kill. 10, 6, Nightmare, Imp. In inbound. All right. I'm just gonna try to stick with it. Go as far as I can. Gotta remember, there's no fast way of doing this without ridiculous gear. Without ridiculous gear. Oh, why? I'm not. I'm not repeating it and throwing rosin in there again. I'm not repeating it. 
I'm not. Because, again, it's too energy expensive for me to repeat. I can't farm these stage because it's just, it, it costs too much. No. But yeah, it costs way the hell too much. I will be continuing my search for the rock cure later because I need a way to deal with that. I knew it was going to be a problem. There we go. Six speed boots, exactly what I needed. All right, next, keep it going, keep it going. We gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get to the end. The bog down. We got to make it all the way, all the way to the end. The War of the Argonians. I think we might finally be done with this. One thing I can tell you Their accuracy ain't high in some cases. But their defense is murderous. Ignore defense abilities or ignore like specific abilities that reduce or ignore defense are incredibly valuable here if you can get them to survive. Because of the raw amount of defense that such enemies do, as well as control. Come on. Get the burn up. Got to keep his decrease attack up.
This is not going to be an easy fight, by the way. Just want to point out, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be easy. Keeping his attack decreased is going to be important. As I'm pretty sure this boss slams reasonably hard. To very hard. Keeping the decreased defense up is vital for this fight not taking a literal eternity, which it probably still will, but keeping that down, weaken I think is decent. Perfect. Keeping it low. Getting the burn. Trying to keep him in that pen. Keeping the dragon, the giant lizard, in the pen. Keeping the lizard in the pen. We will become the dragon master. Be preferable if he landed that. I think we're going to make it. Did we do it? There we go. Okay, we've entered hell. We have entered the depths. I like to call them the depths. Because this place is obnoxious. We're going to want to take the Sinesha out as usual. Is this going to be an easy matter? No. But we've got to try. He's here to go for the Crip Witch. Wow. Well, we're just going to have to duel it out then, it seems.
Because I am not wasting... I am not wasting energy fuel. If I can beat it with just these two, then we're doing it. Because it's literally that precious. There we go. Got some of that on him. Let's take these guys out one at a time. Literally going to be very annoying to do this. But I think we can make it. Without decreased defense, we're in for a very rough time. As you can see. Oh, and to give a sense of perspective, these champs normally absolutely maul Brutal um, campaign. But on this difficulty, we're slowed to a crawl as if they're magic affinity. If they lose their decreased defense, that's how obnoxious this actually is. Final one. Oh man. Crimson Reaper. Someone new. Yep, this is the final. The final gauntlet is here before Nightmare Brimstone. And the final boss. As you can see, these enemies are incredibly obnoxious. We'll be lucky to beat this at all now. There's a reason I went for that. Trying to get some semblance of control on these enemies. We'll be lucky to make it out of here alive. Ah. Uh. Drexthar, though, is hanging on. For how much longer, I don't know. Trying to get them provoked so they have more problems. Did we make it? Yeah, we made it! We got him a level 55! Whoo! And in the next episode, we will continue to go down this... They have Hegemons. Oh. 
This guy's going to be an absolute wretch. I'm not making this up. He is going to be an absolute wretch to deal with. Which we will do in the next episode of this game. Might as well clean up some tag arena. Because I get a heck of a lot of credit for minimal problems. Rather than a whole lot of trouble for only moderate credit. Because getting past Nightmare campaign is not, is not as fun as it might look from the from the outset cuz those enemies are brutally durable like you will be standing there for a very long time trying to whittle them away i don't even want to tell you how annoying it's going to be getting through the next stage before brimstone or the final boss I'm going to need to get the Paragon out. It's it's the it's the fact of the matter. I can't get around it. It's the fact of the matter. You know what another fact of the matter is? I'm going to keep having to do stuff like that. Just to keep crimping, crimping out metals. You know? Because the thing, the reason I have to do this, by the way, is I have a mission to get a an arena bonus to seven now for those of you who do not know doing this is a major pain in the rear I mean, I have to do this. I have to, because I've got... I These... You know how much metals that takes? 700. I have 143. Do you see how long it's going to take? Yeah. 